Hey guys, this is Anchor7DD, and I wanted to make a quick video on a new hero that just came out, part of Season 2. Uh, this is uh, Inari. Uh, she actually uh, is quite different and quite unique, and I know a lot of people have questions about this. Uh, so let's get into this. It, uh, all allies get 56% chance to dodge special skills for three turns. Each dodge summons a Sakura Fox minion. Sakura Fox minion has 8% health. And 30% attack inherited from the caster, it adds 7% mana to its owner at the end of each turn. So, uh, we look at that, that's a skill set, it's got 813 attack, 642 defense, and 1312 um, on the health. Uh, so, as you guys know, I make these videos, uh, put them through the gauntlet, uh, we've got a Titan, a Titan hits going on here. Um, at first glance, uh, this hero doesn't really seem uh, that well suited for... Titans, it doesn't really seem like it does too much, but the fact of the matter is is that she has 813 attack power, which is the second most only to Tarlac, which is actually being displayed in this video here. Uh, so that's super important, especially in terms of having yellow heroes. They don't have the highest of attack powers in general, um, and you get a lot of utility uh, with her actual skill set, because as Titans get harder and harder, keeping your heroes alive is more and more important. So uh, you can see that this is going to fit quite well um, and probably will make it onto my team permanently against Purple Titans, uh, mostly for the tile damage, but right there, that's the biggest thing right there. With having the ability to to dodge and you're, you're making it so that attack is pretty much useless, it also allows you to where you don't have to use so much healers going into these Titan hits. Uh, not using healers allows you to uh, keep your heroes alive longer, but also still be able to obtain higher scores. So uh, with this Titan hit, very, very conservative hit, not too many items or anything like that. But you can see the effectiveness of being able to dodge and miss, and not to mention the fact that June, as well as Inyari, are actually stacking together. And that's super important to recognize and understand, is that you can have both both of them stack together and you can miss and still get a Secura Fox. So I know a lot of people are wondering that if you have if you have it up to where Anari is up and she's dodging, but you also have blind up that you can actually dodge and miss. They're uh, stacking completely separately. So the effects happen uh, differently. So that's important to understand and recognize uh, going forward. With Titan Hits, you can see the attack power is up. You're keeping your guys uh, alive a lot longer. And you're fitting the need of a high high tile damage uh, hero. Uh, I think that Anari is probably best suited for like later ends in the game. Um, I wouldn't put a huge importance on it when, when you're just getting started. Probably not the best hero to level up uh, right out the gate. I would probably recommend like a June or something like that. But I don't think that... Um, I don't think that it's super important in the beginning stages, but as you progress and you develop your heroes, you're going to be very pleasantly surprised with how effective that this hero is going to be, uh, especially for your Titan hits. A huge, huge all-star for, for Titan hits. I'm really, really stoked to see this, especially considering staying alive is super important um, for myself personally on these 12-star these Titans. Uh, the health and the defense, not super, super, probably about average. Uh, the Secure Fox, I think, also helps also adding the the Secure Foxes in. And um, and then also getting the mana is going to be super important, too. So definitely uh, uh, apl applies to there. So next up, we've got some offensive raids with Inari. Um, you're going to see it as this progresses and it moves on um, just how, how important her actual ability is. Because with being able to have control over your timing on the defense, you can specifically throw tiles and you can specifically wait and then be able to go ahead and really kind of change the tempo in this game. So um, we'll see it here on this, just, just how effective she is. Uh, we'll get into actually how her skill set, with her being average, uh, I think it's fine. Uh, her being average speed... Uh, it's not too fast, it's not too slow, but it, it fits in well to where you're you're progressively moving. You can see the dodge right there, the dodge is right there. 
So it pretty much negates out all of the damage and then makes it so it's a huge positive effect. So we see how effective this strategy is uh, when you compare it to like the likes of like Hell or Hansel, Gretel, Merlin, all that kind of stuff like that, being able to mess over their hero specials. Granted, those are all kind of permanent, but the 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 effects of being able to dodge and then also have major bonuses from the dodge are super important. So, um, when you look at this, all allies getting the 56% damage, that's, that's the important thing there because Merlin is only, is only hitting one hero or hell is only hitting one hero where this effect is actually being applied to all of your heroes. Um, so that's super important to understand that it's not just negating one hero. You're, you're, of effectively adding this this effect and being able to time it at the perfect time that's really going to keep your your guys alive i know three turns doesn't seem like a lot but it actually is a lot um so the the actual eight eight percent hp and the 30 percent attack is going to be good for these long grueling matches and also more like in the um in the reverse, when you figure, like right now, we're, we're actually fighting against Inari itself. This is going to be, I love this right here, with Guinevere going off, Inari up, <laughs> you're negating out her doing that, and then you're just adding foxes. And I think that people are, are, are going to like really understand this as you progress and actually use this, how annoying that this is going to be, and how much you can actually change the whole shift of, of the game itself just being able to have her up um you pairing that with blind as well too it's just it's just disgusting you literally own the board um so when we look at also getting the the mana after each turn that's also like look at that all of a miss <laughs> it's just insane um being able to have all the mana come up like that as well too you're allowing it so you're keeping your heroes alive but then also being able to um, kill them. So, uh, a very, very under, underestimated, I guess, the approach that I, I can see how a lot of people would look at this and see that it's not really that effective, but definitely the videos that I've seen, the feedback I've been getting, and then personally, I have this hero to where it's almost finished for myself too. Uh, immediately when I got it, I started, uh, applying it, leveling it. I had, um, some previous heroes I was finishing, but definitely, um, definitely going on my offense for sure, 100%. So, um, now we're going to actually take a look at, uh, her on defense and you can see how she does on defense. Uh, you can see right this, this is, uh, paired actually with, with hell. Uh, and then you've actually got, uh, Albie in the corner there. Uh, I appreciate the person who recorded this I actually sped it up. So you can actually see this go a lot quicker. Uh, one thing that people like really, they lose out on a lot of tempo if the tank dies quickly. So right now you can see it was five versus four. The tank was already dead. So I know personally I've like lost a lot of those um, or I've won a lot of those when I'm going up and I've already killed the tank and all of my heroes are still alive, especially they still have their heal healer alive. Um, right now it's five versus three. This is not looking good. You can see Albie whiffs right there. Um, kind of coming back a bit. Now I've seen, I've personally been able to come back from, um, a healer plus hell. I do it a lot with, with Aaron and hell and come back. Um, especially when I'm being able to, to time things, but where you can see how much this actually just keeps everybody alive and how frustrating this is going to be you guys you guys are going to see it firsthand going up against Inari as 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 people start to level up their heroes more uh just how difficult it is not to mention uh you have to also consider if you try and dispel the the chance to dodge is there too so you're just you, you can dodge and miss and still it's it's just going to become this frustrating match to where, and especially, like, you see how many times Albie missed. If, if Albie would have actually res somebody in a decent time, um, that would have been done a lot quicker. So, how this applies on defense, uh, the attack power, it is relevant. Uh, the defense, I wish she had a little bit more defense and health, but it's not the end of the world. 
She definitely fits the best in a flanking position. I don't see her really doing well as a tank. I know some people tried her out that way, but I wouldn't wouldn't put her in that in that that frame. Uh, another situation here, you look at the life totals here, how much uh, the person attacking is so far ahead. You got Zelene up um, very far ahead in this game. Um, and we'll see just how frustrating that this, this goes ahead and gets gets for them. Um, so with the dodge, I would say it's definitely, it definitely applies for sure. Uh, that's the biggest incentive is the dodge. The, the minions, as well as the, the attack, is not really going to be super beneficial on defense. Where you're going to see it shine is the dodge. So even as she's dead right now, you can see that the, the potential and how much this can hurt. I mean, right now, we're ahead. <laughs> you know, this person is ahead. The life totals are super low. Uh, Albie goes off. He gets her off. But this is just, this is the pain right here. You can see the dodge miss. Okay, all right, I can deal with that. I'm going to go ahead, throw this here. Uh, another dodge miss. Okay, that, that's frustrating. Throw this here, another dodge miss. So you are you guys are going to notice this, and you're going to see just how, how often June hits on blind. When you... When you apply how much she is going to make you miss you're going to learn how how hard it is to go ahead and kill so uh i wouldn't i wouldn't um sleep on an ari at all great hero really cool diverse i think it fits uh fits a fits a unique uh style so we'll get into the actual hero grade here um all around i really really love this hero it fits my type i i enjoy it it couldn't maybe not be your cup of tea but definitely on Titans, you're going to see that this is a pretty important hero to bring in, especially if you're trying to actually get high grades. The the high high attack power is going to be super useful. And then we go ahead and we understand how much this is offensively. You really get to dictate the tempo of the game and switch things around and have complete control, mess up, mess up their hero specials and turn it to your advantage. Very useful with the A grade there. And then we've got a defensive grade. I can see a lot of utility being in the flanking position, not so much in the wings. But uh, right on the side of the tank is going to be very useful. B grade, you can still get above it. It's going to be super annoying. You guys will see. Uh, I'm definitely giving this an overall grade of A. As you can see, it's doing well on Titans with an A grade, offensive grade of A. And then B, I think that there still could be some stuff. But I th overall, a great, fantastic hero.